Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. So Outre came out with a new line called the Daily Wig. A few things that I want in an everyday wig is something that I could just put on my head, get up and go. I don't have to worry about cutting any lace off of it. I do not have to worry about curling it. I do not have to worry about doing anything because if I just want to run to the grocery store or run to the gym or if I'm going to work, I'm in a rush and I don't have time to really glue tape or gel a wig down to my head. So I think that this line is perfect for people who just want to wear a wig, look cute, look trendy, and you are on the go. And the key features to note about their daily wig is that all of the wigs are pre-plucked. It has a natural lace parting space and the lace parting space has been hand knotted and hand tied so it looks really, really natural. All of the wigs are made on a breathable mesh cap that is stretchy, so it should fit various head sizes. It's breathable, so you don't have to worry about your, your hair underneath being too hot, and if you have an itch, you can actually get to your scalp a lot easier with this breathable mesh cap. All of the wigs on this line were made with premium heat resistant fibers, so you are able to straighten or curl the wigs if you want to or decide to do so in the future. All of the wigs in this line require minimal effort on your part, so they are ready to be worn straight out of the package. I also wanted to mention how affordable these wigs are. The wigs on this line range from about $15 to a little over $20, and I think for the variety of styles that is included in this collection, it is accessible to and for everyone. There are wigs for every occasion, literally, and I feel like everyone can find a wig that they can wear on their daily, everyday routine. So let's jump right into this try-on lookbook. I love the fact that this cap is mesh and stretchy. Here we go, guys. Here we go. This reminds me of like an Egyptian goddess. <laughs> I like this. This is cute, y'all. This is Cecilia, and she is in a number one. It is flat. Is she not flat? The only alteration I'm probably going to do to this wig is add concealer to make it my complexion at the part. I may add some baby hairs, but that's about it. I like her. She's a good density. She flows really well. I like the cut. She's a longer bob. Ryan <laughs> Okay, next up we have Yvonne and she is in the color 99J. For all you burgundy lovers out there, I never realized how beautiful the color 99J was. I don't think I've ever tried that color before on a synthetic wig. It's really, really pretty. I've gotten the BURG color, but I don't believe I've ever tried this before. I love the fact that it's not a bright, bright, bright red. It's something milder and it is a mix of browns and dark, dark, dark burgundy. So yes, let's see how Miss Yvonne looks. So what do you guys think about Miss Yvonne? Miss Yvonne should be Mrs. Yvonne. That's what she is giving me, mature vibes. But I would definitely wear Miss Yvonne to work if I had like an office business type of job. Let's play around with her a little bit and I'll show you guys the final look in a second. Little. 
Okay, so next up we have Malia, and I got this wig in a DR2 SMGR. So DR2 is basically Dark Roots color number two. And then, I'm not sure what SM is, but I know GR stands for gray. So um, this is a gray wig, a little different for, for something that I would get, but we're gonna, we're gonna work with it. We're gonna see how this gonna turn out. She's a pretty gray though, I will say that. She's a really pretty gray. Here we go, guys. Here we go. What do y'all think about Miss Malia? What do y'all think? She ain't bad. She ain't bad. I'm just not used to seeing this color on me. She's giving me actually like storm vibes like Malia in this color is giving me storm vibes let me fix her up by just putting some foundation here on the parting space and I may add a baby here with two there a little swoop or two and I'm gonna come right back <laughs> I am going to try on the next one in a second, but honey, I'm having my moment with Miss Malaya here. Definitely having a little moment with her, but yes, this is my favorite. This is one of my favorites. Let me know what you think so far about these wigs, which one is your favorite so far, and where you would wear that specific wig to. Let me know down below in the comment section while I just have me a couple more seconds with her, and I will be right back to try on the last wig. Okay guys, so last but not least is Kyla. And she is a sleek, straight wig. I got her in a color number 1B. So let's see how Miss Kyla looks. Okay. Okay, Miss Kyla. Took her out the package, honey, and she came through dripping as well. Very flat. Very flat. She's definitely ready to hit the party, ready to hit the town, ready to run errands in, ready to pick up on FaceTime, pick up the phone on FaceTime. She is looking really good straight out of the package. And yes, this is another one of my favorites, y'all. She's very soft. The hair is a good density. Okay, I'm loving it. Okay, this is her as a middle part. And then you can move her to the left. If that's your thing, you can move her to the right. If that's your thing, you can cut some layers into her. This is her on the right. Okay, but we're gonna keep her at a center part and I'm gonna put some foundation on the parting space. I really like this one, like this, this, yes. Get your hands on Kylie, y'all. Um, I'm gonna put some foundation on the part and I will come right back. Ryan Little. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to comment down below which wig was your favorite and which color you would get that wig in and where you would wear that particular wig too. Let me know down below in the comment section and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys! It's
Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Right. Right, right, right.